The Defence Acquisition Council today has approved the procurement of this hunter killer predator and sea guardian drones for the Indian Armed Forces. The MQ 9 Reaper version of these lethal drones were used to kill Al Qaeda chief Ayman al Zawahiri in Kabul. In fact, the United States and India have been negotiating for this procurement of the lethal unmanned combat aerial vehicles capable of long. Endurance, intelligence gathering, surveillance, reconnaissance missions and precision strikes using the deadly Hellfire missiles. Cutting across to this uh, report where we're going to break down for you the real capabilities of these drones that will soon be in India's arsenal. These lethal long-endurance, medium-altitude drones may soon be the new weapons in the arsenal of the Indian Armed Forces. The Defence Acquisition Council on Thursday gave its nod for the acquisition of the Sea Guardian drones. The Army, the Navy and the Air Force are looking at 10 drones each. The Indian Navy has already leased two MQ-9 Sea Guardians, the naval version of the drones, for intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance operations since 2020. The MQ-9A Reaper drones were used for the precision targeting of Al-Qaeda chief Ayman al-Zawahiri in Kabul. These unmanned combat aerial vehicles, apart from a number of sensors, cameras and radars, are also capable of carrying four Hellfire missiles for precision targeting of high-value targets. Both the Army and the Air Force are looking at these drones for high-risk operations to destroy strategic assets of the adversary without risking the lives of pilots. These hunter-killer drones can carry four Hellfire missiles. They're also capable of carrying two laser-guided bombs and two joint-action JDAMs. These drones can fly at an altitude of 40,000 feet and remain airborne for over 36 hours. They're also capable of loitering in the sky, scanning the ground below for the enemy. The MQ-9BC Guardian drones come with both maritime surveillance, reconnaissance and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. The drones are capable of providing over-the-horizon surveillance and reconnaissance support both to warships and surface units. With increased Chinese presence in the Indian Ocean region, coupled with Chinese aggression along the LAC, these UCAVs will help keep an eye on the adversary both in the Himalayas and in the Indian Ocean region and take out strategic targets when needed. Bureau report, India Today.